All right. So um, welcome, guys, to the Military Guna TV again. I am Mario Dacos, and thank you very much for coming and tuning in. Now, I want to say thank you to all those who are subscribed, recent subscriber, and also who have been watching the, the guys that have been watching the channel for such a long time period. I really do appreciate um, the fact that you guys are um, assisted. Well, let's, you're, you guys are on a journey. You're, you guys are on a journey with me. Um, but I want to say definitely thank you guys definitely for this journey that we're doing right here. Um, but um you know the big the big big talking points are coming in um slowly slowly but surely everything is gradually um coming in the problem is now is that um we are we have now seen a lot of issues in regards to what we want to do as a nation which is jamaica i'm addressing but guess what the bigger picture is there right now which is the CONCACAF world cup qualification um schedule it is now old people and i know most of you guys have already seen the schedule itself but hopefully you guys are seeing my screen um quite clearly now, the first thing that I realized is that we have games one week. One week, seven games. And one week, three games. One week, three games. One week, people. Remember this. One week, three games. Guys, Um, as you guys know, the, the, the table is there. Table stand is, is there. So let's, let, let's have a look at how the... <clears throat> let's have a look at how the, the table stands um, set up. We're going to have a look at the table itself. So in, in this region, we have um, Canada... Costa Rica, El Salvador, Honduras, Jamaica, Jamaica, uh, Mexico, um, Panama, and the USA, the USMNT. So these are the, the, the squad, the, the teams that will be facing off against each other during the span, the time span, trying to qualify into the World Cup. Now, the road to Qatar begins at, in September. Now, as I said, people, these games are really, really close connected with each other. Now, the problem is now is that even if we're going to travel during that time period, if we will be traveling during that time period, it will be uh, a massive deficit, especially to us. As you know, we're a smaller nation in comparison to a lot of these nations and resources are limited. Um, even in, even if you should move away from the resources aspect of things, you can definitely say that um, jet lag, fatigue, all these type of things will be a factor. Squad depth will be a factor so we will need the deepest squad we can provide no uh, that, that that is the reason why the first thing i highlighted was actually the mere fact that it's it's one week people e each one of these games will be played in one week so for the september tour it's literally one week for the october tour it's one week so three games in seven days is tough it doesn't matter what level it's it's going to be played on and remember no this is the kank cup world cup qualifiers which is at the highest level we are, we are we're talking about that one of the highest level of football world cup qualifications now we do know that there the um we have some tough teams in the region um people um i'm i'm sharing this from ted lee gray um on twitter he's a view of the channel as well if you if you don't know his, his um his con um his, his twitter ta um, name um, tag you can go over there and follow him follow him on twitter great guy he always give you the latest updates um he do, he do, he do a, a bit of politics as well but if you're a football fan, a reggae boy fan, especially, you can follow him on Twitter. And this is his Twitter page. Um, Teddy, I'm um, great. Big up for all the artwork that you're putting in. A lot of respect. Now, let's look at it. Final round, Team 1, Canada, Honduras, El Salvador, United States, Panama, Costa Rica, uh, Mexico, and Mica. So that, that's how they rank in the card as a team. Team 1, Team 2, that's how they do it. Now, this is how it sets up. For September, we have Canada facing off. It's the Thursday, the 2nd of September. We have Canada facing off on Duras. Then we have um we have um El Salvador facing off um Costa Rica. Um we have Mexico then um facing Jamaica. So our first game will be against Mexico, will be a tough game, and it will be away. So if it's a case in which we will travel, or these games will be playing in one central location where where there where we don't have to travel, like all even home and away games are actually in America. If, if all the games are going to be played in America, I think that would be a bonus. Or if we camp in a in a region that all the games will be played. So, so for example, for the September for the second of September, um, we'll be in USA. So why not play in USA? Why not play the Mexico game in USA? Or we would have to travel to Mexico, stay in Mexico, and then um play Panama, or use Mexico or, or USA as one of our home grounds, and let Panama come um come and teach there. So it's gonna be a lot of um logistics moving around uh, those major issues. And we do know that the JFF is not good with logistics. <laughs> we are not good with logistics. Um, this is where um this is gonna be um a lot of planning, preparation have to be on point because if we will be traveling. 
as I said earlier, we will be deal we'll be dealing with a lot of logistics, players moving in and out. Um, and even under the COVID res restrictions, it's going to be very, very tedious. Then we have to factor in training session and all these type of things. We won't have the, the intensified training session, maybe just re um, rest and recovery session, like ice bath and those type of things. But this is telling me that it will be a tedious, a very, very tedious um, campaign. A tedious campaign. And we, we need the best squad. If you want to get the best result out of a campaign like this, you we have to have the best squad. It is a must that we have to. We have to. It's a must, people. We have to have the best squad. And then now we have a deep squad depth. Now, we must select the, the best 30, man, 30 players for, for to represent our nation throughout this time period. We have to. It's a must, people. Now, um, so we face Mexico as our first game. Then now, on September the 5th, Sunday, September 5th, 2021, um, USA face Canada, El Salvador face Honduras, and um, um, Costa Rica face Mexico. Then we face Panama, another tough team. As you, can, as, well, as you guys know, high intensity type of team as well. So we can expect burnout throughout these few days. It's a must. Burnout will be there for, throughout these few days. Then now we move out from Sunday. So it's Thursday, Sunday, Wednesday. Something similar to the, 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 the UEFA, our Champions League fixtures. Thursday, Sunday, and then Wednesday. Then now we have on Wednesday, September 8th, 2021, we have Canada facing El Salvador, Honduras facing USA, Panama facing Mexico, and Jamaica facing Costa Rica. So for the first month, we have two away games and one home game. No, remember that we still haven't confirmed where with those home games home games will be played. I'm not sure if it's National Stadium. If it's National Stadium, I might go and get my ticket from now. If it's not, nothing has been concreted as yet in regards to that. But it goes to show that the first month we will be traveling um twice to, to away games, and it will be difficult for us to say that we will maximize all the points in, in this um first month. But what we can do is we can we can ensure that we try to get as much milk, as much points we can get out of these three fixtures. Maybe a six points, a seven points, something in that region. A two win, one draw. Um, let's get something over Panama. Let's get something over Costa Rica. And maybe um go for a, go for it against Mexico. I'm not saying I'm not going there with a defeatless mentality, but we do know that Mexico is one of the favorites to go through. But go go to Mexico. Keep it tight, keep it close and compact, and let's get a result there. If we don't get a result, we already maximize six points out of out of out of uh, out of nine, in which I believe it's good, it's good, good points and um, points standing. We move now to um to October, so we're already on six points. We move now to October, where we have Mexico, um, we have on the, the center of October. And that's the, that's it, the fixture that we're going to go by Thursday, Sunday, Wednesday. That's how the order of things that we'll be doing. We have Mexico facing Canada, Honduras facing Costa Rica, uh, El Salvador versus Panama, then USA versus Jamaica in October. Now, another tough game in the short time span as well. Then now on Sunday, uh, we have the 10th of October, we have Jamaica facing Canada. So another tough game. That's two back-to-back -back really, really um, rigid game back to back in short time span and that's like three days three days apart there's no rest period in that there's no rest period in that one will be in usa will be away to usa then now we'll be facing canada um at home it's a case in which usa we we're going to play canada and we we in jamaica we still haven't started out the 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 the, the, the traveling arrangements the, the the planning and all those type of things we could simply face canada in the usa to minimize the traveling, the expense of traveling. We do know that we want our let's let, let's face it. We want our own um our own fixtures. We want our fans to see what's happening. I understand that. But let's look at the bigger picture. Think about the players traveling to USA, then back to Jamaica, then back to Canada. Within 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 those three days, within those seven days. That's a lot of traveling within those seven days. So we have to be realistic. Now. We have to take away our personal um, bias, what we want. We have to take away that and think about the bigger picture right now and try to work out something in which these games can be played before or without the, those um, um, elongated date, um, time period, or hours of traveling, which, which can cause jet lag, fatigue, and all those type of things. So we have to take away our selfishness. Um, then now on Wednesday, which is, as I said, Thursday, Sunday, Wednesday, we are on the October the 13th. 
We have Canada facing Panama, Honduras facing Jamaica, El Salvador versus Mexico, USA versus Costa Rica. This is here I think we can maximize a point from, from, uh, from Honduras. We do know it's going to be a tough game, but we can maximize a point from Honduras. This is now the perfect opportunity for us to, be, to defeat um, the USA team. Yes, the USA will be bringing their, their full-fledged team, but we will be bringing our full-fledged team just to save. Um, if we can if we can get something from Canada, I don't think that Canada is all that. I do believe that we can get something out, um, from Canada. So even in this sense, we get um, two draws and, and, and a win. That's literally um, five points. That's five, that's five points. That's 11 points on the board already from just the first two, uh, from the first two fixtures. From the first two campaigns are the first two months of, of, of running. But let's put that aside. In November, we face off um, in November... And it, uh, no, in November, dates are not confirmed as yet. You have Canada versus Costa Rica, um, Honduras versus Pan Panama, USA versus Mexico. Um, we'll be playing in El Salvador. Perfect opportunity. We definitely can get something over El Salvador. I believe so. I. And the next date now coming up, we have Canada versus Mexico, Costa Rica versus Honduras, Panama versus um, El Salvador, and then we face the USA again. Tough match. Um, this will be at home this time around. I think we need to get something. If we don't get any result from the first one, we have to get we have to get a result from this one. So we cannot afford any slip up. Then moving on to into the 2022, which is January 2022. Um, on the 27th of January, literally mountain. Um, Honduras face Canada, USA face El Salvador, Costa Rica face Panama. We then we face Mexico, uh, Mexico again. Um, another tough game, another tough game. One that we know that we must get something from. If we now have the opportunity to bring Mexico into the heat of Jamaica, um, that would be a good opportunity because now what we have right now is that um, the next game will actually be against Panama. So maybe we need to work or something. Um, I'm just trying to, I'm ch what I'm trying to do, people, I'm trying to minimize the traveling, the traveling here, here and there. That's what I'm trying to minimize as best as possible. But it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Then now we are um, on the Sunday, January 30, um, 2022. We have Canada facing Mexico. Costa Rica faces Honduras. And Panama faces El Salvador. Jamaica faces the USA again. Another tough game. No, oh, my bad. Um, I, my bad. I was reading off the wrong thing. And we have um, Mexico face um, Panama versus Jamaica. Now on Wednesday, February 2nd, um, the 22, um, 2022, we have El Salvador facing Canada, USA facing Honduras, Mexico facing Panama, Jamaica facing Costa Rica. Another tough set of fixtures for us. Even the time span based off where the, the games will be played and traveling. Traveling is a big factor in what we're going to do. This CONCACAF, we need to work out logistics. And we saw where we had issues in the in the um the, 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 the Japan tour in regards to traveling, preparation, and all those poor planning and preparation. Very, very poor. PPP, poor planning and preparation. Very, very poor. Um, it wasn't it wasn't the best. But if we should apply the best PPP in this time period, I do believe that um we can um, uh, amount a lot of res um, results out of games that many people wouldn't expect us to. Then we move over to March where we have Costa Rica and Canada, Panama, Honduras, Costa Rica versus um Canada, which March is actually in a close time period if when the games are going to be played. Um, so we're entering in the close region of um, Quat um, um Qatar right now. Costa Rica versus Canada, Panama versus Andres, Jamaica versus El Salvador, Mexico versus the USA. So that's March 24th. Then we move on to Sunday, March 27th. Canada versus Jamaica, Andres versus Mexico. And then now we have El Salvador versus Costa Rica, USA versus Panama. Then now for the last game of the campaign, we are going to play Andres. And we have Panama versus Canada, Jamaica versus Andres, and Mexico versus El Salvador. And people... This is going to be a tough one. This is definitely going to be a tough picture. Let me, you can look over to the far right where I see I'm scrolling. You'll see the dates for the game. You will see the dates for the game and where and when the games will be played. So it, we have a lot. Um, as he said, this is his prediction 42 points maximum, which is going to be tough. Um, 24 points average, 21 points minimum. I think we're going to be between the maximum and average. I'm looking like I'm, I'm being honest. I'm looking in the 30 plus region maybe 32 33 points points on it in that region that's the region that i'm looking in the points on it no we have to remember this now these are some of the things that we, we need to remember people that during this time period during the same time period 
the, the the Premier League campaign, um, the, the 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 league campaigns will be going on, and that is going to tell us um how well and uh, which player will, will be available because at the same sense we have to consider injuries. These will be international breaks, and remember that international breaks are actually one week. So these qualifiers will be played on those international breaks, which will be the one week which is granted to us. No, we have to be mindful that players injuries are a factor, um, fatigue is a factor, and these are all, all these things affect um football game. But I do see us um um doing our best. I honestly do see us doing our best, and I I honestly do believe and want to see. I do believe and want to see the best coming out of what we what, what, what our plan, and that is why I said it's important that we we put proper planning and preparation in place so that we don't have these major major issues. We don't have these major major issues going into into the, the qualifiers campaign. The, as I said, the three P's, people: planning, preparation. Proper planning and preparation. These are the three P's. Um, that's something that I learned in army. Um, we need to put those things together because when you when you master when you master these three these three P's, you actually have a foresight of what's going to happen, and you think beyond and said, "What if?" You put in the "what if" clause. Uh, many people don't know the "what if" clause. So, what if one of these players are injured? Who is next in line? So, these are the things that we'll be looking at, people. Um, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. This has been a really good one. Um, Military Guna TV, people. Let me close this so I can formally um, close up the show. Guys, remember to, to hit the like button if you like this type of content. Um, and subscribe if you like the content. Subscribe if you like the content. If not, thank you for viewing and thank you for hitting the like button as well. But if you don't subscribe, you must hit the like button. <laughs> um, thank you very much, people. Military Guna TV, people. Guess what? I am 